Well, thanks, Simona. We've got the Get Up Kids behind me doing sound check here, so I hope you guys can hear me. But uh, yeah, this week I hooked up with Halifax producer slash rapper 62. He recently moved to Montreal and just completed a brand new album, which is coming out this spring on Ninja Tune. So we got you guys an exclusive look inside his home studio and the process that goes into him making his music. Let's check it out. First thing you do is grab up a random record with a good groove on it. You check your levels. You take your loop, assign it to a pad. You make it mono so that you can just trigger it. Simple. Make money. Get paid. <laughs> it's that easy. Go. It's that easy. It's that easy. And then you drop a fat rap on it. Fat raps. <laughs> get paid. That's what you do. You, you do that and you get paid. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm probably best known for collaborating with uh, my partner Rich, Buck65, as the Sebutones. I've produced a lot of work for a lot of the Anticon guys in San Francisco, uh, Sage Francis from Rhode Island, and uh, and myself as Six Two, uh, both as like a rapper and producer, and, and mainly these days I'm working as a producer. Um, and aside from that, I, I guess I'm mainly known for doing a lot of remix work. I started out with um, a rap group in Truro, Nova Scotia called Hip Club Groove uh, with Corey, now Trailer Park Boys fame on the, on the cable TV circuit and uh, just like making four track tapes in my room and uh, trying to pedal music I guess and so I've been doing that for uh, I guess it's going on close to like 13 years now so basically just making a lot of music for a long time and trying to hustle, moving around whenever I can to like try and accommodate my career, which is like a big part of why I moved to Montreal. Cool. And you got a, you got a show coming up real soon in Montreal? Yeah, we're playing uh, at the SAT on the 21st, I think. I'm not sure. I'll check it before we okay. put it on the air. <laughs> <laughs> who, uh, who else is on that bill with you? Uh, I'm on Tobin, Kikawala, myself. Uh, Bonobo from the UK and Blockhead from New York. Sweet, sounds like a good show. It's already sold out, sorry. Sold out. <laughs> you can't get in. Maybe if you're real nice, he'll hook you up. <laughs> we got no guest list spots, don't even call. <laughs> I notice you got a, a bass over here in the corner. Are yeah, you? Uh, I've been playing. I've been playing a little <laughs> bass. Uh, I got an electric piano that's up at the jam space, and so I've been learning to play bass and piano, and, and wrote a lot of the stuff on the record. But then also had um, my friend Matt Kelly, who's also playing in, in like my band or whatever. Yeah. Is uh, he, he helped write a lot of the like accompanying melodies and stuff, and then we just like recorded a lot of that stuff together. What about uh, the rest of the album? Or is it going to be mostly just kind of music? Or are you it's, rhyming it's on there too? It's a lot or? of instrumental stuff. Um, I recorded a lot of source material uh, with various musicians in Montreal. Um, and I basically just like compiled a lot of source material and then like using the computer and the sampler and stuff like sort of re-edited it and sequenced a lot of it. And so yeah. it, it's sort of, it's a new direction for me. It sounds like more like a live band than anything that I've done before. But obviously like, you know, being a sample-based artist, it's, it's sort, of, sort of like true to that as well. What, what are we going to look to expect from the new record, and when is it coming out? Do you it's know? coming out May 15th, but I got a 12-inch coming out in a couple weeks called Box Cutter Emporium, which has uh, got uh, this guy, Damo Suzuki, who's the singer from Can, which is like a German kraut rock, famous kraut rock group. Um, that'll be out this month, and uh, aside from that, I'm just like trying to work on touring and, and stuff like yeah. that. All right, dude, I got one last question for you. What's up with the megaphone over there? 
Oh yeah, the megaphone. You know when the neighbors start getting mad at you about turn it, they yell at you. You know, turn it down. You turn it down. You turn it down. Nice. <laughs>